From the heart of the limestone city in Kingston, Ontario, I'm Rebecca Fryer with Kingstonist News. Here's what's making headlines today, March 23rd, 2022. The name of the third crossing is set. The name Wabin Crossing was voted on by City Council last night and it passed unanimously. According to Jennifer Campbell, the city's Director of Heritage Services, the word Wabin is complex in the Anishinaabemowin language, saying it was explained to her as meaning a specific moment where night reaches dawn and slips into a new day where any and all new things are possible. She says that it also works well as the bridge will facilitate the movement of traffic from east to west across the water, like the track of the sun through the sky throughout the day. For more on this story, you can check out our website, kingstonist.com. An update from Kingston Police that their missing gun magazine has been returned and the woman whose photos were circulated by police is no longer a person of interest. On Monday, March 21st, police said that a gun magazine belonging to a Kingston police officer became dislodged and landed on the pavement after an officer was involved in a brief struggle with a male being arrested. Police have now spoken to the woman in question who came forward to identify herself. Police determined she actually did not take the magazine. However, they did not provide any details regarding its return. A 54-year-old Kingston man faces charges of assault and mischief following a violent altercation with his common-law partner. On March 20th, around 2 p.m., police say the victim returned home from work to find the accused lying unconscious and unable to wake him in an upstairs bedroom that they had in their shared home. Police say the woman threw water on the man in an attempt to wake him, which was successful. However, it led to an argument and violent altercation, rendering the woman unconscious. The woman was transported reported to Kingston General Hospital by paramedics while the man was arrested and taken to police headquarters. A Kingston woman faces impaired driving charges following a single vehicle collision on the bridge near Kingston Mills Road. It was around 3 a.m. on Monday, March 21st, that Kingston police got a call about a vehicle parked in the middle of the road with significant front and passenger side damage. Police say the female driver, who appeared to be impaired, was still inside the running vehicle when they arrived at the scene and a search of the vehicle turned up a half-empty bottle of open liquor. The accused was arrested and transported to police headquarters where she refused to provide a breath sample. Police say she was charged and released with a future court date. Kingston's new East End Community Centre celebrated their soft opening on Monday, March 21st. Located in Grenadier Park, construction of the complex has taken nearly three years to complete. With the help of local partners such as the YMCA, the new space will be a community hub with a little something for everyone, including the arts, cooking, fitness, technology, language and preschool programs, as well as an outdoor splash pad, ice rink and skate park. A special weather statement is in effect for Kingston and much of the surrounding area for Wednesday into Thursday uh, morning. Total rainfalls amount will be 25 millimeters, so be on the lookout for localized flooding in low-lying areas as the partially frozen ground may have a reduced ability to absorb all of the water on the way. And lastly, RMC Paladins graduating senior and fresh-faced rookie were among the OUA honorees when the league announced their major awards and all-stars for this year's men's hockey season in the afternoon of March 22nd. Paladins captain Liam Murray won the OUA East Randy Gregg Award, while Brent Broaders earned the spot on the divisional all-star rookie team. For more on these stories and other headlines, or to submit your own news, visit kingstonist.com and become a subscriber today. I'm Rebecca Fryer. Have a great one, Kingston.